What are you doing today? <laughs> I'm testing out the trendy foot masks I keep hearing about. You know, I'm actually feeling something. So it's been about five minutes, and if I feel in here, it does feel a little bit smoother. And I'm surprised how quickly these foot masks are working, and they definitely, they tingle. You'll notice it. I'm about to take off this foot mask and reveal whether or not my feet are silky smooth. Can't wait to find out what happens next. I braved the technology first, but we're testing out the trendy foot masks that peel away the dead skin that everyone's been trying online. People can't get enough of them for their strangely satisfying skin shedding effect. So as you saw, I tried them out for the very first time along with my whole front row. You all have been doing it. We dragged them up here on the top of the stage. They've been trying it for about 60 minutes. How's it feeling so far? It feels very tingly, but it feels good. But you can still feel your feet. Yeah, it's a I good sign. Yep. Okay. What do you What do you normally do for they're your feet? They're not too tingly right now. My feet are. Yeah. It feels good, but they're. It feels like they're getting moist. What do you normally do for your feet? I go for like regular pedicures. Pedicures. What yes. a luxury. Yes. I like that. Sometimes I go for the spa one. For the spa. Okay. So while they're all marinating their feet a little longer, I'm going to bring in beauty trends expert Val Greenberg. These foot masks. I never heard of these things a few months ago. Now they're everywhere. Why are they all the rage? They are. So, Dr. Oz, right now it's the winter months. We're stuffing our feet into our shoes, our socks. We're all guilty of not giving our feet a little extra TLC. Now, we have to remember that the feet are our actual, our balance us. I mean, how many times have you been in a bad mood because your feet hurt? So when a pedicure is not cutting it, people are turning to these peels because they shed a complete layer of your skin. Let's talk about that shedding. You brought, you, know, Bobby, you can buy these foot masks at drugstores, cosmetic stores, they're all over the place now. It's true. But some of the photos that you brought me made it look <laughs> like they shouldn't be sold anywhere. These, the are, these are different <laughs> stages of the mask treatment. Let's talk about what's in these that cause the skin to exfoliate. And again, I don't think it's dangerous. It's, you know, you have an extra layer of skin, it's forced it off, but you can do it in different ways. So first up. Right. So once again, it's the super intense chemical exfoliants, the fruity acids, believe it or not, and the alcohol. That is really what causes the dead skin to shed. Okay. And what about the fruit acids? Yeah. So these fruit acids, it's funny that these are actually the most popular because you wouldn't necessarily think that that's what would make your feet peel. Yeah. But again, Dr. Oz, it really comes down to moisturizing, right? Mm -hmm. So these peels, they have to counteract those intense chemicals and, and alcohols and ingredients. So they actually have to have these moisturizer, the moisturizing effect as well. It's an extra bonus step so that your feet can feel even more moist to really pamper yourself. Okay, so we've got all these wonderful women here. They have bravely subjected themselves and their feet. I love it. Gorgeous from head to toe, gals. All right, so let's, let's judge them. Yeah. Let's, have you been touching? Have you touched right. your feet yet? Uh, not yet. All right, not let's yet. get in there, Dr. Oz. Come on, you can join me. Ooh, I don't know. Ooh, oh my gosh, you, your smooth. feet are so soft. I don't know what they felt like <laughs> before. <laughs> Ooh, very soft. Uh, actually, can, touch your own feet. How does it compare to those very those soft. They feel very soft. I'll touch yours too. And will you, will your pedicure person be jealous of this? I think so. Yes, a lot better. Okay. They feel a lot better. Okay, you look good. Everyone here has soft feet. <laughs> oh my goodness. They're very soft. Did Once you enjoy again. the experience? Yes. Yeah. Soft, soft, soft. Yeah. Very Are you soft, soft also? Soft also. Yes. All right. Let's judge. This is unbelievable. Sorry, I'm I, I didn't. You. But none of you have shed yet, right? No. No. No shedding. No shedding. All right, so let's go through this. First of all, I, 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 mine got softer also. I didn't Good. shed either. Excellent. But I like the fact that it felt a little better. Right. Everyone was happy in the whole family. How long do these results normally last? So the results will last for about a few weeks, but it takes about two weeks to get your optimal results. Two weeks, you do it once a week, roughly. No, I would do it about every two months or so. Oh. It's a balance, just like everything else. The results will last you a few weeks. You do it once every two months? Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. I know, so it's not that much upkeep, which is great. And, and how do and, you find the right one for the right person? Well, you've got to make sure that if you have sensitive skin, you certainly need to make sure that you're going with a natural version. So a natural version of fruit acids. But be sure not to use these if you have blisters or any sores, because that can be just uncomfortable. If you want to rush it along? If you want to rush it along, I definitely recommend using a pumice. It'll be more instantaneous results to really expedite that process. So if your feet are going to be touching anyone or you're gonna have open-toed sandals on for any reason, that's your answer. It's a gift from the show. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> it's the least it. I could do. Appreciate it, thank, thank you. All, thank you all for joining us. <laughs> Val, thank you very much. Oh my gosh, my pleasure. Dr. We'll be right back. <laughs> be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss anything. And remember to check back often to see what's new.